energy to light. You see the pretty tree? <laughs> All right, let's go. So Christmas music has been playing for the past two days. Um, where's my phone? Because I don't want any issues with monetization, monetization. This morning I woke up at 4 a.m. I have no idea why, but it is now 3 p.m. Yeah, your mama. You having little Cheerios? <laughs> Who's that baby? So little mama had spaghetti for the first time yesterday and she loved it. So I'm super excited about that. What else I got going on? I'm about to make dinner. It's 321. So I just got in. I'm about to make dinner. We're gonna have tin mackerel and some fried dumpling. So I um, already, what's it called? Needed the dough. I needed the dough and it's in the fridge. So I'm gonna leave that in for like 30 minutes before I fry it. Chopping up some garlic. And I have my onion here. I really like scallions, so I'm gonna add some scallions. Some people don't do both, but. So scallion, peppers, and scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah, so I keep the ingredients kind of simple. And then thyme, I usually keep in here. Yeah, so for a Vlogmas, for those who are not familiar with Vlogmas, for some reason I assumed that everybody knew what it was until like I had to explain it to my husband. He was like, I, what is that? I don't know what that is. But um, Vlogmas is pretty much, to my understanding, starting December 1st, you upload a video every single day until Christmas, or some people do until the end of the year. Um, so a few YouTubers that I follow, like for years and years and years, they're like OGs. They used to participate in Vlogmas and so they don't do it anymore because they say it's just too much. And by like January, February, they're, um, you know, exhausted. They're like burnt out. I've tried to do Vlogmas before when I was in school and it was just, a disaster because I was just like no like I need to study <laughs> so I can get up out of here so that didn't really work out but I did upload a few like vlogmas type of videos um, so I said this year I'm going to try to upload maybe two to three times a week I gotta get her food together give me one second so I'm gonna get started on the tin macro and this is like one of those dishes that it's not pretty, but it tastes really good. So I'm probably not gonna do like a presentation. I'll probably, I'll show you guys what it looked like for the people who don't know, or if you're not like really familiar with Jamaican food. I'll show like a clip of the food and the dumpling and like all that bit. Um, but I'm gonna get started. So what I was saying, it's not a pretty meal, but it tastes really good. Macro and tomato sauce. And you add your onions, your pepper, your garlic, your thyme. So I'm just gonna cover this up and let it simmer. And that is good. I'm about to make my dumplings. I'm gonna add my oil. Um, I usually just like eyeball it and then see how much I need to add. So I really don't go off of measurements or anything like that. But I actually need to start doing that. I need to get into the habit of making Measurements when it comes to like baking because I know things are very um, Precise when it comes to baking. That's probably why I'm not a good baker as yet I've tried to just like whip something up with baking and it never turns out right so far But I was telling my sister this yesterday. I really want to get good at making chocolate chip cookies. My aunt um, Makes really good chocolate chip cookies and really good pretty much everything like she's just a baker 
at heart like she's one of those people who can whip it up and she doesn't need measurements i will start out using my measurements and then go from there then i can like eyeball stuff but as for now honey i need measurements so i've really been wanting to make like an orange cake um my lips just feel dry i'm sorry um yeah i've really been wanting to make an orange cake or maybe like an orange cranberry cake i'll add the cranberry because it's like holiday but i've um went to a cafe it's like a cafe that my husband usually goes to they had like a cranberry olive cake it doesn't taste like olives it tastes like it has like a very citrusy taste it's really good but i don't want to keep buying it i've purchased it like twice already and i don't want to keep like purchasing the same muffin it's like coins going down the drain not down the drain but money adds up when you're like spending and kind of like make it myself so i'm gonna try i'm gonna make an attempt to make some type of orange cranberry loaf and then i'll maybe do some type of um drizzle like orange drizzle with like cream cheese and just kind of like drizzle it over the cake we'll see what happens i'm gonna go on youtube and see if i can find like an easy recipe i have the basics i have like my flour, my sugar, my baking powder, baking soda. So if anybody is familiar with baking, please put in the comment section, or I can probably just Google it, but just for the fun of it, if you know what double acting baking powder means, let me know. I actually use for my um, dumplings when I'm making my fried dumplings. It's just a brand that I came across and I picked it up from the grocery store. It's like no special reason, but I actually like it. Like my dumplings come out like nice and fluffy, never had an issue with it. But I don't know what double acting means. Like, does it mean it has baking powder and baking soda? Like, I'm not, I don't know what that means. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up a little bit before I do my fried dumplings because I need my area like nice and clean because frying dumplings is like, lately has been like my favorite thing, which it shouldn't be because of the carbs, but I mean, you know, little won't hurt. As far as like the whole like orange cake thing, I'm really gonna try to make that happen. What is it called? Orange olive muffin all the time. Like I don't wanna keep purchasing it because I think they're like $5. Yeah, I'm trying to save a little money. But as I'm talking about saving money in the same breath, I'm now craving some hot chocolate from Starbucks. So not specifically from Starbucks, but I don't have any in the house. And I try not to keep it in the house because I'm the type of person like I'll have one cup of hot chocolate and then have another and it's just way too much sugar. So I try not to keep it in the house. Eventually I'll buy it closer to Christmas because I do like the whole marshmallows and hot cocoa when it's like Christmas Eve and stuff like that. That's just like my little tradition. Especially for like Christmas movie night. I have that every year. My family's not gonna be here for it but it's gonna be me, my husband and the baby. So we'll have our like little Christmas movie night. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get some hot chocolate because yeah mama <laughs> I'm craving it so we'll see I was talking about in my what my Zara video I posted a Zara try on and I was talking about like packing on some pounds because I was like eating a lot of like cake lately for baby girl's birthday we had like cake tastings and then when her birthday came we had a lot of cake left and I was tearing that cake up like that cake was so good but um yeah i usually pack on at least five to seven pounds around the holidays and i used to get upset but now i'm just gonna this year i'm gonna enjoy it like i don't care judge and say like oh you should not like i'm gonna enjoy my five to seven so there's a juice spot not too far from here did kind of like a two-day cleanse today was the second day so i might do it again tomorrow i don't know if it's really considered a cleanse because i'm literally having fried dumplings and I'm talking about hot chocolate and muffins and whatnot, but I'm getting my greens. That's the point, I'm getting my greens. Do I still have some left? I do. So I'm gonna tell you guys. I have to finish it actually. This has green apple, carrot, beets, kale, lemon, and turmeric. And they actually have some type of um, points rewards program. So if you purchase six juices, you get one free. And I thought that was pretty cool. Hi. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish it after like dinner. But yeah, I can't tell anybody what to do, you know, with their body or with their weight. But I, for one, am going to enjoy my holiday, especially this year, because it's just been a lot going on. So I'm gonna enjoy my holiday. My hair is like. So I'm gonna get my dumpling started. 
Yeah! So I have my fried dumpling and I mixed a little bit of cornmeal in it. So that is what it is looking like. I'm gonna put you guys down and wash my hands so I can get my dumpling started. So quick tip, anytime you are making dumplings, dough will stick to any type of moisture. The drier you can get your hands, the better. So guys, before I fry my dumpling, I usually do a little trick. I take a piece of the flour and just drop it in. If it floats, it means the oil is hot enough, which it is floating. If it sinks, it means I need to turn up the fire a little bit. So I'm gonna take out my little test. So these three I'm setting aside. So the fire is um, on medium. I keep forgetting to turn the music down. Sometimes I like alternate. I just watch the dumpling to see how it's frying. If I need to turn it down or if I need to turn it up just a little bit, I just really try to pay attention to it because I don't want anything to burn. So this is what the dumplings are looking like. I didn't turn them over just yet, but like they're kind of golden. I guess I can like kind of give them a turn. So I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. She's gonna have turkey meatballs with corn and peas. So that is um, heating up right now. So looking pretty done. My shirt literally has gravy all over it. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I've been using the CeraVe foam cleanser which looks like this. I've been loving this. After I cleanse my face, I go in with my Merit. This is the Instant Glow Serum. I've been loving this. I did a collab with them for their Black Friday sale. They only have one sale a year and that ended the 28th. I'll still leave the link below for anybody who wants to like check out their products. Yeah, but I've been pretty minimal lately with my skincare routine. As far as toner, I do love Fresh. Fresh is amazing. The other toner I love that is my favorite is from Tasha. That's a really good one. And also from um, Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe has a good one. It has like a really pretty, light watermelon, fresh smell. But I'm gonna cleanse my face and use my Clarisonic. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. This weekend I'll be doing some fun holiday stuff. There's like some events going on in my communities. Also might be flying back east to see my family. We shall see how that goes. Um, but yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if there's an echo because I'm in my bathroom. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next vlog.